All right, uh, welcome back. You're still on to News Hub on Silver Television this morning. Uh, we're turning our attention now to Kaduna State, where a lot is going on. Uh, and as Sean said before the break, uh, the governor has been speaking about why he can't meet certain obligations. Uh, he talked about um, the challenge with uh, payment of salaries. Uh, I also remember him talking about um, the challenge with security and the education sector. He said uh, over 3,000 of the schools that he met are not fenced. Uh, so that's also a challenge, you know. So, and um, of course, um, the back and forth about whether indeed these assertions are correct, particularly pointing fingers to the immediate past administration of Governor Nasser El Rufai. That's uh, also been in the news. I hear that um, the um, children of um, the former governor have also been speaking. The one uh, currently at the House of Rep is saying, look, I stand with the governor. Uh, and of course, all manners of reactions have trailed that um, uh, comment by the governor. So today we have someone joining us to, to speak on the matter and um, you know, give us some insights as per exactly what's going on in Cardinal State and the state of affairs there. Uh, is a, uh, I'd like you to, I'd like to uh, welcome, join us um, virtually, Professor Mohamed Kailani. He's a, an APC stakeholder and he will be speaking to us about the developments in Kaduna State. Um, Professor Kailani, good morning and thanks for joining us. Uh, good morning and uh, I say kudos to Nigerians. You know, uh, as a stakeholder, I'm also the DG uh, of the Confederation of All APC Support Groups. In Nigeria, which has over 180,000, you know, support groups, and uh, I'm a stakeholder in Kaduna. Truly speaking, what El Fai did in Kaduna is nothing to carry home about. I we brought him in 2015 through 2019. And the eight years Erufai spent in Kaduna. So I saw in social media because he has been, you know, using social media to tell people lies. To go to Kaduna today, you will see that it's only in Kaduna North that some projects, you know, were embarked upon, which is the GRA. But we have from the three local government areas in Kaduna State. Just take a trip around it, you will see that there is nothing there. And what Erifai did in eight years, we politicians were not happy because when he came in, over 61 markets were destroyed. He destroyed, you know, bulldozed many people's houses. He also sacked many workers for just no cause. Today, uh, I am supposed to blame uh, the current governor, Alaji Obasani, but uh, we need to help him as stakeholders. This man, you know, that's why it's not good to be errant to anybody, to be, to be dependent, to be somebody's boy. Erufai took, according to the allegations, over 570 billion loan, and uh, also about 80 billion dollars. This money translates to trillions. Ubasani, in, in the last six months, cannot do anything because the money is not there. At the once the grant comes in. They deduct the money from the source. And uh, that's why he cannot pay salary. So all he needs to do now, the solution, because the profiligacy of all these governors, not only Erufai, is, is very, very bad. If you take example of Kogi State, Wilanti has even made an office. They created an office for him in the government house. And recently, the president 
Yeah, yeah, prof. The Tunibu had to run the governors because so even the palliatives, these governors don't give it up. All right, prof. So, uh, just before you go on, yeah, thank you so much uh, for your thoughts. Uh, first, I'd like to you know say to you that um, to say that the former governor goes on social media to lie, uh, that's an allegation, and, and I would like us to refrain from use of such words. You know, just because he also has a right to. Uh, express himself on social media whichever way he wants you know so and that's not the issue really and uh, the issue is the state of affairs in Kaduna state as of today the governor has come out to say there are challenges because of the debt uh, virtually all the states in Nigeria are indebted one way or another in fact some of the states that you consider thriving states are actually hugely indebted you know but but that so that's the narrative uh, and you know you know this very much, as much as I do. So now let's look at uh, what's on ground. I mean, it is enough to explain why the government can meet its obligation. I mean, it is easy to say it was because of the undoings of the previous administration. I'm sure that the governor also had some insights into the state of affairs in terms of the finance of the state, of the, of the uh, um, um, states before he came into power. So what exactly should he also be doing? It, it's not enough to just lament and, and complain and explain why things cannot be done. I, I thought that as, as a stakeholder, that, that should also be of concern to you. No, our concern not only to Kaduna, we've been saying it as BG Confederation of all support groups in Nigeria that brought this government. We are not happy the governors are just hold, uh, you know, folding their arms. They don't do no nothing in their states. What they're supposed to do, they must look inward. Nigeria is so rich, so endowed with natural resources, human and natural resources. So all they need to do is to harness our natural resources, those minerals that God has given us in all our states. That's number one. They should go into agriculture. Agriculture grows the GDP of not only any state, any country that is very serious will go into agriculture so that they will feed the state. Like, for example, Kaduna, we produce uh, uh, maize. In the 60s, maize were being exported outside to get uh, you know, foreign, foreign exchange. Today, I don't think uh, a Kaduna state produces that maize again. Nigeria state produces rice. Today, I know Bago is trying now to, you know, rehabilitate the, 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 the farming system. So they must go in what we've been saying it time immemorial. You can never depend on federal government. You just sit down, you await the, the oil money. That cannot solve the problem. So we enjoy them most especially uh, Ubasani to do his best to make sure that Kaduna State goes back to the land and make sure we produce that maize and other varieties of uh, food crops. If he does that, you, uh, Kaduna State will be out of the current quagmire that we see today. And uh, truly speaking, we have been saying, is what you said, I should withdraw uh the information that Adia mentioned that he they have the, the right to say so well i'm a i'm a Lagosian. i grew up in lagos and i know we we Lagosians will normally do the right thing honesty sincerity or purpose mm -hmm. corruption okay. should be out of the question today all the things his children are saying from bello to bashir I don't think it will help matters. All right, but prof. And that is why our youth today, you must make sure that they respect elders. Okay. Their we'll father go. has not done the right thing. He left humongous debt in Kaduna State that the governor cannot operate. It is true whether we like it or not. The only thing the governor is supposed to do now is to set up a, a, a judicial you know, panel of inquiry and uh, investigate the areas where he took the loan, how the loan went down the drain, and they right, recovered prof. those monies. 
Thank you so much because uh, we, 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 we have to moderate this so that it will be easier for our viewers to consume and understand. Um, former governor of the state, also of the APC extraction, his uh, his successor by every standard, his affiliate, as long as people would remember. What Nigerians uh, understood, you can correct us if you know any other thing about handing over, is that you expected to give all information that your successor would need to drive the new position that you're assuming successfully. This, that is the essence of the window that you have between the time that you win an election and the day that you get warning. Now, from considering two parties, two people who were assumed, seen, to have very cordial relationship, what would have expected that Governor Sonny must have been in the know of the liabilities that the state had before taking over the office, possibly should be, even before he vied for the, the position at all in the first place. We did say, you mentioned earlier on also, you were on the line of thought of saying, is you looking at what's to generate funds. Would you go on the part, with the part of the people that say, look, the governor should do the needful, go ahead to see how they can repay the money, if he feel, feels that such monies are gone into the wrong pocket, report to their appropriate authorities. But they are really coming out to say some certain things should be followed with action. How do you respond to that? Well, Nigeria, we must do the right thing. Uh, the former president said, that is uh, General Buhari, that if we don't kill corruption, corruption will kill us and it's the bane of this country today people go score free after stealing our money all he needs to do is to make sure apart from looking inwards to recover those monies those monies are for the people they are for the people the right thing must be done a judicial a panel of inquiry must be set up we must do the right thing we have to go back to the drawing board to make sure that we bring those that steal our money to book. If we don't do that, people they, see people tend to emulate. Once you are given a position in the society, you will now just go and steal. They will take you to court. After some years, you go scot free, and that's why uh, corruption strikes. So for me, not only in Kaduna State, anywhere. Uh, a, a, the case of corruption is found. It has to be followed appropriately. You see, later acquaintance are understood by psychological factor that it is true what um, uh, Ubasani is saying. Because in the last six to one year, he has not done anything because the money is not there. The money has been, you know, embezzled, taken away. So we are not going to sit on our back and watch Kaduna State being destroyed. It's, it's Kaduna State has been the the, 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 the center of the, 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 the northern Nigeria over 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 decades ago. Today, if you go to Kaduna, you will not be happy. You will not be happy. So I think what I'm saying, and uh, the governor also had by not bringing in all the stakeholders that did the Muslim Muslim ticket. We brought him. He, he seems to shy away from the, 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 the main people who brought him. We could have advised him even before taking over. You can write a, a, a takeover note and, and, and you don't say the right thing there. After, you know, uh, handing over, by the time you check the handing over notes, you will see nothing, nothing. And that's why now, for long, he has not spoken. He just came about uh, three, four days ago and now complained that this money is not there. I know when uh, Senator Obasani was in the Senate, he was the chairman of the, this financial committee. And uh, I know he aided Erufai in, in securing this loan. So he knows it. But this money is not there. So 
for me and you and all Nigerians, the best thing to do is to recall Erufai to come and explain to the Kaduna State, uh, you know, citizens where all this money went to, so that they will recover the money and use it to develop and pay salaries and do other things. Uh, but for the but for the benefit of this show, uh, please. Uh, okay, all right. So for the benefit of this show, we like to segment what we have to say so that we really can get your part into this. You mentioned earlier on that you've been mostly in Lagos State. You're a Lagos boy. I want to see. Imagine that was what you're trying to say. Uh, but then you are more also of Kaduna, you know, person from Kaduna, so to speak. What was the Kaduna you knew? How did things change under the administration? Or former governor of the state, and uh, you were already on the line of thoughts as to how Governor Sonny can salvage the situation. But we feel that if you can trace where you were coming from, then you can understand where you are, and then being able to decipher how to move to a better place if you decide if you really are determined to do that. Well, we are determined to turn around Kaduna State and not only Kaduna, the whole country. And uh, the only thing to do, as I said earlier, there are a lot of companies in Kaduna State. If you go to Kakuri today, over 40-something companies built by our forefathers, those companies are dead, all those textiles. Uh, if these monies are there, we can inject money, these monies into these industries, the, the companies, so that they will resuscitate them and so that they will be producing. And then this will bring economic empowerment to the people. Also the issue of agriculture that I mentioned and uh, the issue of uh, solid minerals. We have almost 1,001 solid minerals in Kaduna State. Like uh, lithium was just uh, you know discovered recently. So. You mentioned that I said, yes, I'll be I'm in Saliko. I grew up at Oshodi in Lagos. And that reminds me because we need to continue to support the president so that he will succeed. Before election, I had the opportunity to meet the president at Asorok. And I told him, I said, sir, you are going, your excellence, you are going to win election. But win the new pace that created Lagos, you make sure that when you win election, we are taking back Tinubu Square, we'll take back Oshodi, the Korodu, and he laughed. He said, stop writing petition. Let us win election first. Now that we are won election, we we'll like him. He's doing his best with all these policies that, uh, you know, reeling out. But it seems these policies so people are not doing the right thing. We are advising him to be steadfast and to be hard. Nigerians, if you are not hard on them, you will never get results. Let him do his best to make sure that any policy that is rolled out for the betterment of Nigerians see the light of the day. Then he warned the governors just about five days ago, as I mentioned earlier, that all this money that they have been giving them, where are all this money going, going to? With the removal of subsidy and this uh, depreciation of Nedra, you can see that Nigeria are going, Nigerians are going through hardship. And he brought palliatives earlier, about uh, uh, almost a year ago, People are still complaining. Even recently, All right. the Minister of Agriculture said he gave All out right, Professor 2,000 metric tons of grains. It's not going to the masses. We thank want to win elections. That's why I'm saying all these things. Yes, the thank you. The governors must be on their thoughts, not only APC governor, all the governors, and, all right. and they must return our money to us. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, we've been speaking with Professor Mohammed Kelani on the developments in Kaduna State concerning uh, the state of affairs in terms of um, finance, the finance of the state and how it's been difficult for the state uh, government to meet its obligations in terms of salaries 
and other things in the state. Uh, Professor Mohamed Kelani, thank you so much uh, for your thoughts on the program today. Thank you very much, Mr. Victor. I'm outside the country and I hope you well. This your program is, is fantastic. It's, uh, it's very good. And I hope you people continue so that you are aligned to Nigerians on what is happening right. Thank for you. good governance to All take right. place. Thank you very much indeed. Sure. All right, so that's the show. We want to thank you for being part of the program. Remember, you can join us on our social media handles, Silver Television. We're all over. Just get in touch with us, your feedbacks, and to things you like for us to discuss on the show because it promises to even get better. All right, News Hub is back on Wednesday. Um, please uh, ensure that uh, you tune in at exactly 7 a.m. on Wednesday. My name is Hakim, inshallah. I'm sure we did. I'm laughing at you now, tell you the reasons on days. <laughs> but we do wish you a beautiful day. Good morning to you.